Glossary allows users to maintain glossaries for projects, and the glossary itself can be independent from the software system. It is a company-wide asset. While you may or may not directly involve in the projects, it can still be meaningful to you. You may have many projects for many systems. For example, you may have a project for an accounting system or an inventory system. And you may want to share a glossary among different projects. Then you just define a glossary in one place and the projects can reference to this central repository. So you can reuse the glossary without defining it again and again, saving time and making the design diagrams more precise. In this video, we'll show you how to share a glossary by reference project. First, we will create a glossary project in Teamwork Server. We'll use the glossary to maintain some terms. Then, we'll create a system development project. And finally, we'll add a reference to this glossary project. We're now in Visual Paradigm for UML Enterprise Edition. Here, we're going to create a glossary project. Go to Team, then open Teamwork Client. Next, click on Import Project to Repository. And then name the project Glossary. And then go down here, select Peter and grant him rights to read and update the project and click OK. Click Open Project here. We're now in the Glossary Project. We're now going to create a Glossary. Go to Requirement, Glossary Create, And then we're going to add a new term called teacher. And then here I'm going to enter some um, descriptions. Person who will be responsible to teach the students. And then we'll add another term and call it student. Go over here to enter uh, some definition. Person who takes a course for credits. And now we're ready to come meet these additions to the server. Go to team and then select commit. And then in the box down here, uh, let's add a short comment. Add um, glossary terms. And then click OK. Now we'll create a new project. And then go back to Team, Teamwork Client. And let's import this project. And let's name it Course Management System. And then down here, we're going to add Peter as user and grant him the rights to read and update the project. Click OK. And then click Open Project. And go back to the Model Explorer. And now we're going to add a reference. And right click on it. Select Manage Reference Project. In here, click Add. And let's go back up one level and choose the glossary and click Open. Click Close. And now we have the um, glossary project referenced. Now, before we proceed further, Make sure you commit changes. Now go to Team 
and select commit. Now let's go back to our project course management system and we're going to add a new use case diagram for example and uh, perhaps we'll put an actor on the diagram and we're going to name it teacher as you can see um, teacher is highlighted and uh, if you uh, press the control key and click on it together and it will take you right to the definition and the glossary as you can see we are reusing the glossary project here now let's say we are on a different machine as a different user Peter go to team and teamwork client and let's log into uh, teamwork server here and log in as Peter click OK and here we're going to select course management system click OK and then open project in here it detects a dependency but unsure about the path so uh, next to it we can specify the glossary project and then click OK Okay, and then here you can see that um, we've both checked out course management system as well as the glossary project. Back in course management system, and we can add another actor. Let's say uh, we name it student. Okay, and as we can see, um, student is highlighted because um, it is a glossary term and uh, so now we have um, the central repository, a central glossary project.